This brain teaser is a bit of a classic, and I'm sure a bunch of you have heard it before. But I wanted to include this in the brain teaser playlist that I'm making right now, because this one is actually a good build up and a bit of a nice warm up session for a slightly harder brain teaser that deals with people telling the truth and lying. So this one, we could call it the, uh, the, you know, the truth teller and the liar. Truth teller and liar. So we're on some type of adventure quest, and we get to a fork in a road, right? So I have, or let's say that there's uh, two doors. Let's make it, that's even better. So there's two doors. And I've gotten to, I guess I've gotten to the end of my adventure quest. And I know that my treasure is behind one of these two doors. Unfortunately, behind the other door is immediate, actually not immediate, slow and painful death and all of the misery in the world. So I want to pick the door carefully. And besides his doors, there are two people sitting there. There's one guy that looks like this. And then there's another guy that looks like this. And I know for a fact, uh, the, the gods of brain teasers have come and told me that both of these guys know which door has the treasure. And both of these guys know which door has the um, the unbelievable despair that that would ensue if I opened that door? So I both of these guys know which door I should be opening, and I also know, and both of them know that one of them always tells the truth. One is always honest, always honest, and then one of them always lies, always. One always lies. And the problem is, I don't know who's who. So, and I only have one chance to one. Obviously, I can't just open a door and close it. If I open the wrong door, the despair will come out and kill, and, and you know all of the pain will happen. And I can only ask one question of one of them to decide which door to open. So remember, they both know the correct answer, but one of them always lies, one of them always tells the truth, and I only have one question to ask of one of them. So the brain teaser is, is what question do you ask? Who do you ask it to? Do you ask it to the green guy or to the brown guy? And then what do you do based on what they tell you? So that is the, the problem description. And I will now give you the solution. So if you don't want the solution, I encourage you not to. I think if you think about this one for maybe 20 or 30 minutes, or at most a day, sometimes when you sleep on a brain teaser, you, it might come to you. So I, I encourage you to do that. So pause it, stop it, whatever. Don't listen anymore. Because here is the solution. So what you do is, I mean, you don't know who's who, so it's kind of it's not like there's a correct answer on who you ask a question of. But what you do is you ask either of the people, you ask them, what door, or what would the other guy say? What would the other guy say is the correct door to open? Correct door to open. So let's think about this. So I could ask this guy, what would the... I'm asking the green guy, what would this guy say is the correct door to open? Now what happens if if this guy tells the truth? If this guy tells the truth, then this guy is the liar, right? And if and so he will actually tell me what this guy would tell me to do. And the liar oh is is the correct right. So if I if what would the other guy say if is the correct door to open, right? So if this guy, if you were to tell him the correct door to open, he would tell you the incorrect door to open, right? So when you ask this guy, what would that guy say? He'll be honest about what this guy would say. And since he's a liar, he would tell you the incorrect door. So the answer to this question, you would get the incorrect door. Incorrect door would be the answer to that question. If this guy's a truth teller and this guy's a liar. Now what happens if it's the other way around? What if, if I ask this guy and he happens to be the liar? So this guy's a liar, this guy's the truth teller. So the liar will he he can't help himself. He will lie. So he knows that this other guy is the truth teller there, right? There's only two of them there. He knows this guy's the truth teller, and he knows that this guy, when asked, 
will say the correct door to open. So if you ask, if you happen to be lucky and you ask this guy the correct door, he would tell you, tell it to you. This guy will lie, and he knows. Let's say that this is the correct door. Let's say this is the correct door. Door door number two is the correct door. Whoops. I somehow zoomed in. So let's say that door number two is the correct door. If you ask this guy directly, he'd say, "Oh yeah, door number two. That's you'll find all your happiness in behind door number two. Now if this guy is a liar. He knows that the truth teller will say door number two, but he's a liar, so he'll tell you door number one. So once again, if I ask the same question of the liar, I still get the incorrect door, right? So no matter who I ask this question to, their answer will be the wrong door, right? The incorrect door, or you know, the door that I get all of the pain from. So what you do is you ask this question: What would the other guy say is the correct door to open? And no matter who you ask that to, they're going to answer the incorrect door. And then, so you do the opposite. So I ask this guy: I Ask Mr. Green guy, what would Mr. Brown guy say is the correct door to open? And if Mr. Green guy says, "Oh, open door number," Green guy will say, "Brown guy will tell you to open door number one." Well, if green guy says that brown guy will tell me to open door number one, then I should open up door number two. And likewise, if green guy says brown guy will say to open door number two, then I should open door number one. Anyway, that's a nice warm-up brain teaser for the next one I'm going to give you.